It wasn't too long ago that the president was holding up Yemen uh, as somewhat of a model for counterterrorism strategies in Iraq and Syria and in other places. I'm wondering, does the president still see Yemen as a, a model for uh, success in fighting terrorism that can be applied elsewhere in the region? Josh, the case that we have made is that Yemen uh, did serve as a template for the kind of strategy that we would employ and have employed to mitigate the threat from extremists uh, around the world. <laughs> all right, end of story. Let's all go home. Bye. Welcome to Give Me Five. Yemen is an example of the kind of strategy we have employed and will employ to combat terrorists around the world. It just failed miserably. It's been failing miserably for some time, even when Obama said uh, not too long ago that it was an example of success, it was a failure. Now we just ran. We just uh, evacuated our special forces. And this is what he says? Folks, I got to tell you, I have the easiest job in the world because you can't make this stuff up. Just let you hear what they say. It's insane talk. You want more? Watch. Uh, and in Yemen, the United States did on occasion take steps to remove some extremists from the battlefield. Those were steps that were carried out using U.S. capabilities, but they were done in coordination with a central government uh, and with uh, national security forces uh, inside that country. Uh, ultimately, our goal here is to build up the capacity of local countries so that they can assume responsibility for their own security situation. Uh, and that has both the effect of stabilizing the country so that extremists can't use it as a safe haven to carry out, to plot and carry out attacks against the West. But it's failed in Yemen. What doesn't Josh Ernest understand? The strategy, the reason the question came about Yemen is because you've touted it as a success and an example of how to combat terror, and it's failed. And now he's talking about it as, as still as if it's some great success. My gosh. Now, Richard Engel of NBC News, to his credit, knows that this is a bunch of nonsense. Yemen has been a fragile country for, well, for the... 20 years or so that I've been talking about Yemen, uh, but I've never seen Yemen uh, like it is right now. You said it's on the brink of a civil war. Maybe it's even in a civil war. You have the U.S.-backed government, which the U.S. has been backing both politically, financially, and militarily for several years on the run. Uh, you have that government now operating as a, a government in exile in a small portion of the country, and these Shiite rebel groups known as the Houthis, uh, who are uh, allegedly backed by Iran. If you ask other people in the region, they'll all say it is a direct Iranian proxy fighting it out for control of this country in the tip of the Arabian Peninsula. That's okay. It's okay if Iran's doing this while they could say death to the United States. We still want to be their friends. I told you, you can't make this up. Not if a president is supposed to have this national security interest of his own country at heart. Next. And while this war is going on, and this is a real war with tanks and artillery and seizing uh, cities, uh, a new city was just taken by the rebels over the weekend. While this is going on and the country is in chaos, uh, you have ISIS making a run for it and ISIS trying to um, eclipse Al-Qaeda, trying to establish a base in the country and carrying out uh, several attacks, including uh, the, the one on Friday in which about 140 people were killed. Yeah, hey, it's a, this, you know, the more I think of it, Yemen is a great example, isn't it? What a success. Congratulations, Commander-in-Chief Obama. Here's one more. He was directly accusing Iran of being behind the Shiite uprising there and, ha and accusing Iran of spreading its influence, trying to effectively take over Yemen. So sitting back from the Saudi perspective, by the way, uh, Yemen is right next to Saudi Arabia, you're seeing Iran spreading its influence in your neighbor, uh, uh, Yemen, and you're seeing Iran spread its influence in your other neighbor, Iraq. Yeah, by the way, he's saying when it says he accused, he's talking about the prince of Saudi Arabia. That's okay, says President Obama. I love Iran. I love them. I love them. I want to be their friend. They could do no wrong. On the Steve Malzberg Show.